Welcome, 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 friends. This is Devin at La Libre talking to you today about why we are starting our series on target language, target language, target language, target language, target language, and why you should be working towards 90% just like me. We're working towards it together this year. It is my absolute number one priority this year and I'm going to be talking to you today about why it should be yours too. I know it's scary but we're going to get there together and this first video is going to be a video diary series out of a huge project that I'm putting together with many experts in the target language field and we are coming together to make sure that world language is on the top of its game and making sure that target language is a priority for all of us this year. And why though? Why? On top of all of the things that we have to do this year, why are we thinking that target language has to be our priority? I mean, Actful says that it has to be, that 90% should be the goal for everybody. That is really the industry standard that we are all striving towards, but I mean, Let's be real, y'all. When you talk to people about whether they're doing 90% in their classrooms, you're going to get a very mixed reaction, as I usually do. You're either, you've either got people who are on the spectrum of, I use 100%, or mm, I'm more like 50, and I really don't know how to get it to the level that it needs to be. Or I'm at like 70, 80, 90, but I really don't think that my kids... A, like it, or B, have any idea what's going on. So the purpose of this series is to talk about why is it that that industry standard exists and how we're going to get there as a community and uh, why on earth it needs to be your number one priority. So today we're going to talk about that one right here. Why should this be your number one priority in your classroom this year? On top of everything else that you've got to do this year, why are we talking about this big scary topic? The first reason is that when you make target language your number one priority, everything else in your classroom will actually start to fall into place. When you make TL your number one priority, you center high quality, focused, targeted, comprehensible input as the center of your classroom. Because think about it, if you're only using the language, then they have to understand you. And when they have to understand you, then your entire goal is to become comprehensible. And the entire focus of your class is to communicate and the entire point of language is to learn how to communicate. So the real point of focusing on target language in your classroom is honestly as a teacher is to shift your perspective on what the point of language teaching really is to do in the US or wherever you're teaching, which is to teach your students that the point of class is we're here to communicate. We're not here to learn about language, we're here to use it. So when you focus your class on using target language, you are shifting your own perspective as well as your students on that we're here to use language and we're here to figure out how to use the tools in our little tool belts and we're going to build it in the process. But when you create an immersive environment with some safe nets as well to use, you're creating a space where students are using the language as well as learning about it rather than just learning about it which is really, really powerful. It's hard, though. It's hard. You're going to need some of your own tool belts as well. And that's what we're here to do. But since it's really hard, I have some good news for you. If you use target language and you build that immersive environment in the right way, in a way that works for you and your students, it's actually going to solve some of the problems that you're facing on an everyday basis. So there's a lot of hope for you in this process that when you do commit to doing this difficult process, it's going to take care of some of the things that are nitpicking at you on a daily basis. So if you commit to this, on this difficult challenge that we're going to embark on together this year, if you're part of the challenge, it's going to help you a lot on the way. This one big, all-encompassing, difficult thing is going to help sweep all of those 
daily challenges that you have, it's going to help you out a lot with that. Raise your hand in the crowd if you've ever had daily challenges with people anywhere in your school, administration, parents, students, whatever, treating your program like it's an elective or like it's not as important as their other subjects. When you use more target language, it helps to legitimize your program and raise the rigor in a way that matters. It's a huge game changer. It also makes sure that people learn things faster and in a more meaningful way, which helps to solve a lot of daily problems that you're going to solve. So those are two previews that I got for you here. So while we're talking about it, here's some other things that are going to be coming your way as we move through this video series. We got experts that are coming your way. People who are experts in this field, in world language, they're coming to talk to you about all of the wisdom that they've got to share, years and years of experience of getting to that 90% and exactly how they do it. We've got research to support it as well as daily practical things that real teachers have been using in their classrooms to make sure that they've created that immersive environment and in ways that work in very different environments all throughout different teaching styles and in different places and locations that I know that you're going to be able to pull something that works for you. We've also got different strategies for how to stack your curriculum right from start to finish to figure out how to make sure that you are working with the end in mind with specific goals and exactly how you're going to get your kids to where you want them to be. We're also going to be talking about what exactly is holding you back from this and how you can take a look at every single one of those things that you've been looking at as an excuse and how you can cross them off your list and make this the year for your target language goals. Are you in? How excited to see you there.